Air Matron. Åh, oh, you know what makes sense, Mick. Welcome back, Mandingos, to the Blood Outdoor Show. I'm back out with this legend, little schmickle dorsal fin. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. Looking forward to this one, Mick? Oh, yes. Two rights, Mandingo. Yes, guys, today we're going to do a stealth camp in an underground tunnel. So this should be a good one. Getting onto the main road now. We're going to walk up just for a couple of minutes where we'll turn down a path. Then we'll have to make our way down the steep bank. Mick's got his sticks there, so that should help him. Anyway. I'll bring you Mandingo's back when we get a bit closer. Ah. Left there, you schmick. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Okay then folks, so we're not too far from where we're going to be camping. We're just taking our time because we've just passed a few dog walkers there. They were alright, they were they were talking to us. They didn't recognise us, so that's a good thing. There's a load of new houses being built here. And quite a few of them uh, getting lived in already. So, we're just making sure there's no one around. Obviously, you know, we're not really doing anything wrong, are we? But, camping out illegal in England, so we don't want some nosy bugger, some Karen, phoning the old Bill and getting us moved on. As you can see, there's loads of houses over there and all. From the village at Seaton, where we've parked up and walked round. But we should be okay. Right then, Schmickaroonie. We're going to have to make a move and get down this steep bank. I'm not quite sure where the best spot is to get down. We'll have a look and we'll find the best route, guys. I'll check it out first. That's steep. I mean, that's steep for me. So it's really steep for Mick. Hopefully, if he falls over and rolls down, I can get there on camera. That'll be good. <laughs> That'll be good entertainment. Oh, I'm only joking. Right, guys, I'll bring you back in a minute when I find us a safe way down. You better believe I will. Lice. I'm just taking my time, guys. I don't want to go an arse over tit. And I don't want to get too far ahead of Mick. Because if Mick slips, I want to stop him. That's it, Bonnie lad. Class, mate. Class. Use them sticks to stop you falling. Right. I'm telling Mick what to do, and I'm chance. I'm chance to be the one that falls over. Oh. Class, mate. Class. Why are you some bear grills? Why are you the spit of Ed Stafford? Right, folks, we're nearly down. And down there, underneath, you can't quite see it yet, I don't think. Oh, you can. That's where the tunnel is, where we're going to be camping. I'll bring your mandingos back in a few seconds, because I'm going to help Mick down this last bit. Right. Fucking <laughs> thorn bushes. The sharp is out, aren't they? <laughs> 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 
Well done, mate. Well done, Mara. Now we've just got to get down there, which I can see. It's not a big drop for me, Mick, but it is for you. So I'll get down first, and then I'll help you down. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. Right, get my bag off, Mick. Put your bag in there. Get your bag. Right, how are we going to do this? Because you're a ton weight. We are. Got you. <laughs> I've got you, mate. Hi, right, folks. So this is where me and Mick will be spending the night. It's just starting to rain. So this is going to be the perfect spot where we can just sit and chill out, make a coffee, drink some beers, waski, cook our food. <laughs> just sit and chill out. Talk to you guys and have a great time. Um, the floor will be too hard here. The ground will be too hard to get the pegs in. So we'll probably put the tent just there. We'll clear the space, make a nice spot. And we'll put the tent door like here. So if we need to pop, out, uh, pop outside the tent during the night for a quick slash Gordon, like I see it, we'll just come straight out the tent into this tunnel. At least we're not getting wet when we need to pee. Okay, the manding goes. Me and Mick's gonna get some gear set up and we will bring you back very soon. You better believe I will. So that's the tent set up guys. We're gonna to have to keep the noise down because the pathway is just up there and it does get quite busy. You know, people walking the dogs, people out on the bikes, loads of families and
that's kindly given to us from a local lad from Sunderland. He didn't want us to give his, uh, give his name out, but on Instagram, his Instagram account is called The Content PT. I'll tell you more about that later as well when we're having some waskies. But yeah, I'll leave a link for his Instagram in the description. Okay then, my fansexuals. It's now time for me and the human dorsal fin to get the cans open. Oh yes. You know what makes sense, Mick. Right. Two lice. Keep the noise down a bit. People's houses there, just on the other side of the tunnel. Okay then guys, time for a little snack. We've got some biltong, which I said was kindly given to us from a company called Brown's Biltong. They're just a small family run business, which is based in the UK. Right Mick, I'm gonna give Mick the traditional flavor. We'll have a, we'll have a bit of both mate, we'll share that. thing in there that you need to get out put that down there that's just what keeps it keeps it fresh Mick I've got the the Perry Perry flavor the old Kevin and Perry get that open nice quality packets sealed and you can seal them back shut right Mick Pop some of that in your mouth and get chewing. Two of them in mine. Mmm. That flavour. Lovely. Coming delicious. straight through. Mmm. <laughs> Little tone has got to be the top snack for camping. Oh, absolutely perfect. Like I see, I normally buy that one from Morrison's, the Kruger Biltong. It's safe to say, this one from Brown's. Even better. You get some of that peri peri one, Mick. Give me some of the traditional. Cheers. Dorsal fin. Long. Mm. I'm sure it should have. It's like having a lovely piece of steak in your mouth. Unbelievable. Yeah, so like I say, Brown's Bill Tong has kindly give us a few packets for free. Mm. Well, I said, I'll give an honest review. No bullshit on the Blood Outdoor Show. That's beautiful. I'm going to leave a link for Brown's Bill Tong in the description of this video if you click that link <clears throat> oh, the flavour on that really strong lovely if you click the link that will take you straight through to their website 
And when you make order, if you spend over 20 pound, and if you type in the code Mandingo, that's the code Mandingo, you'll receive a good discount. You better believe you will. Mm, get some of that peri peri on me. I have some traditional. Anyway guys, we're going to sit and enjoy the rest of this. We're going to have another can. It's the perfect food to sit when you eat when you're camping or even if you're sitting in the house having a few canned dingoes. You know what I mean. You know what makes sense guys. I can't even get my words out because I'm enjoying that much. Bring you back in a second. Right. Lovely enough. Lovely jubbly. Ah. Oh. Mick man, you dirty little bugger. Why you some Kevin Costner? Time for a little chess warmer. Some of that schmick warm your little chest up oh the temperatures drop guys it's chilly on the old willy so we're just having a little chest warmer stick around mandingos later on for the world famous bullet outdoor show wask review oh yeah you know what i'm talking about <laughs> dorsal fin and you know it makes total sense mm-hmm now that is not bad for an Aldi's Waski. It's not Aldi's, is it? Little for a little Waski. Oh yeah. It's all right, mate. Hey. Ah, bring it back soon. Nice. Some Clark Kent. Ben Diesel. Hiya. Why are you some Tom <laughs> Cruise? Right. Spit the Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what time it is, man. Then goes Wasky time. And this week, this is what we've got. A Bracken blended Scotch Waski. Kindly given to us from a local lad from Sunland who has an Instagram channel called The Content PT. Check this man dingo out. You know it makes sense. Anyway, Mick, let's get this poured in. The old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Not much left. You know the score, guys, on the Blood of Door show. We always drink it first and we'll leave just a little bit for the wee view. 
four K then. Let's get the old baker in this morning go. And that's a very rich and very smoky. And I'm getting a nice hint of like toffee and caramel. Go on, Mick, you get your little your little schnozzle in there, my little man friend. Are you getting that yeah. toffee and get caramel? Caramel, eh? Aye. It's quite sweet, caramel. isn't it? Like a quite sweet, sweet caramel, caramel smell. You sweet caramel. Makes sense. Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline, eh? <laughs> I'm also getting like a nice little bit of orange coming through. Like a definite bit of orange. You don't agree with me, man, Dingo. You see it. You see what you can smell. What do you reckon? Yeah, I've got a little bit of orange. You're getting a bit fruitiness. Just a little bit. Right. Oh, it's, little right. bit. it's not get strong. Not a little bit. Just a nice little bit. Right. Anyway, man, dingoes, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Two rights. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> strong. And very oaky. I know you'll be thinking, oak again. But a lot of whiskies have an oaky taste. But that is very oaky in Dead Man Dingoes. Ah, I get oaky taste as well. Are you oaky. Some why are you some lyrical genius? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lovely dark chocolate and yeah like a nice dark chocolate and coffee thing coming through man then goes really nice and like I say this whiskey is just from little you know the little bargain and um, supermarket it's really good a lot better than I thought it was gonna be Are you getting any dark chocolate any coffee thing going on like I say, you, you say what you think, little dingo man. I can't think of what I get off this one. Is it going down rough? Is it smooth? Is it harsh? Is it. That's kind of smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Warm in the old chest. Warm in the old chest. That's original. Oh, yes, some lyrical genius. Well, can I, I can't exactly say what it is. But it's nice. But it's nice. Well, that's <laughs> all I count, man, Dingo. As long it as it's nice. going down nice, not burn your throat or anything like that. Well, that's it. Sorry. That's fine, down nice. Good stuff, man, Dingo. Good stuff. Mmm. Yeah. I'm more used to this than Mick. I'm definitely getting a nice dark chocolate thing going on and I'm getting a lovely aftertaste of apples not really strong yeah I'm getting a little bit of apples coming through just a lovely little taste on the old tongue dingo man dingo if you know what I'm talking about it's not roof. It's not roof. Not roof. <laughs> not roof. Not roof. That's it's not rough and it's not smooth. You know what I'm talking about, little schmick. It's, it? <laughs> it's very decent indeed. Here, Mick, you finish that off. 
Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm going to give that a solid 7 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. You better believe I am. What are you giving Mick? I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 dingo. Man dingoes. Man dingoes. <laughs> the whiskey's taking effect now, guys, on both of us. Right. <laughs> 7 and 6.5. That is a very good score, guys, just for a, a little waski. You know it makes sense. And you know what I'm talking about? This is serious stealth cannon. Right. <laughs> what the fuck have we just been going on about there? It's so behind it, though. Getting comfy there, mate. Aye. To right. Don't worry about getting too comfortable, mate, because you'll nah. be going for a slash Gordon soon. Nah. That'll do for now, Mara. Oh, yeah. I'm going to join you in two seconds. After I drain the old Eddie Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, goes. <sighs> We're in the tent now. Oh, little mix. Just woke up. <laughs> We've came in the tent and we were just chilling out. And we both, we both fell asleep. <laughs> little mix just woke up there. <laughs> I'm not even sure what time it is now. It's the early hours of the morning. But I'm a bit hungry now, so I'm going to cook me food. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yes. I'll bring you back in a second, guys, when I'm cooking me food. You know, it makes sense. So that's the hot and spicy chicken and the prawns cooking away, guys. We'll give that a couple of minutes. And we'll add the lice. Okay then guys, time to add the Uncle Bensky lice. Get that popped in there. We'll give that a couple of minutes. Maybe he's not even that. And that'll be done. It'll be done, Dingo, as they say in the doodling. There you go, man, Dingoes. Chicken and prawns. With Caribbean style lice. Little mix fast asleep again. He can take his food home and have it for his for his dinner when he gets in. Which he will. Cause little Mick never wastes anything. 
when we're at work, if we share a pizza or a kebab, he can never eat it all. He'll eat as much as he can, and then he always wraps it up and takes it home. <laughs> he never gives it away. He'll always eat it when he gets home. Anyway, guys, let's get stuck into this. Nice bit of chicken there. Nice and hot. Couple of prawns there. Hmm. Tremendous. That's just cheap chicken from Aldi's, but it's the hot and spicy one, and it has got a little bit of a kick to it. just what you need before you get into your sleeping bag and a good night's sleep get your body all nice and warm with a nice hot meal as soon as I finish this I'm going to get back in my sleeping bag try and get another another couple of hours sleep before it's time to get up Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, nice lumps of chicken. Pipe and hot lice. This is what it's all about, mandingos. Anyway, while I'm enjoying this. Hmm. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported my channel this last week. This last two weeks, to be honest, because I didn't get a video out last Sunday night. And some people have even, who normally buy us a coffee, even though I didn't put a video out, they've also bought us a coffee this week as well. So, unbelievable support. I've got the best subscribers Anyone, anyone could ask for on YouTube. Like I've said before, if you just watch the videos and you give us a like and you leave a comment, that for me is enough. I'm just over the moon as you're watching my videos. But if you have gone out your way to buy us a coffee, whether it's through the Buy Me A Coffee link or PayPal, um, I think some people's been buying us a few on the on the super chats thing where I put, when the video goes out when it first goes out on YouTube and you go all that, on, you go a live chat there's been a few people donating that way so anyway whichever way you do it thank you so much my funding goes really appreciate it there's your names down there and down there where did it go? I'll just go a bit from the bottom of the pan there. He burnt the skin off the inside of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting my channel. Really appreciate it. And I'm just over the moon that, <laughs> you know, he's watching my videos. I can't believe it. Thank you, guys. You know it makes sense. Right. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this nice hot meal, and it is really nice. And I'm going to get another. I'm going to get another two hours sleep. I see you, Manding goes first thing in the morning at coffee time. You better believe I will. Nice. Good morning, Manding goes. Eight fifteen. Oh, there's a little schmick. Just woke up as well. Had a good sleep, mate. Oh, yeah. Just starting to rain there, as you can hear. That's okay, because we've got that tunnel. 
So at least when we when we come outside the tent, we're not going to be getting soaked and wet. We can sit in the tunnel, make a quick coffee before we hit the straight. Enjoy yourself last night, mate. Class. Good one, it. Missed yeah. out on the he missed out on the food because he fell asleep. But you can take yours home, mate. Aye. You can have that for your for your dinner when you get in. Yes. Or your lunch, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's probably his best though. He didn't have that um, hot and spicy chicken. Because he's already been dropping his guts during the night. It's absolutely honking in this tent, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get the doctors about your uh. guts, mate. <sighs> yep, so we're gonna get up in a minute. And we're going to pack our gear away and get out of Dodge City. You know what I'm talking about. Bring you back in a minute, guys. <laughs> Fucking stinks in here. Okay then folks, that's me and Mick all packed up. There's Mick's rucksack. There's mine all packed away. The old bin diesels there with all our shite. As you can see, that's where we had the tent. And that's the way we're going. We're not gonna go back the way we came. We're going to climb over that fence, straight through the field. We're going to cut through a farm, and that should bring us out at the old van sexual. You better believe it will. How are you? Mick, I'll help you over. Put your foot on there. What are you doing? What are you going on in there? <laughs> Why are you some Johnny Knoxville? <laughs> yeah, good idea, mate. <laughs> One advantage of being little there. Eh? All right. So that's it, folks. That's the end of this week's camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time. You enjoy yourself, Mick? Oh, yes. Been great, hasn't it? Been class. Fantastic place to camp. Really enjoyed it. And um, plans for the next two weeks. Next week, I'm going back out on another stealth camp. And the week after, I'm going hiking in the mountains again in the Lake District with young Chris. Hopefully, the older Chris comes as well. Next week, stealth camp. Mick, are you coming out again? Who I am. Are you definitely coming out? Definitely, definitely. Did you hear that? He says he's definitely coming out. Stealth camping next week. That'll ding dang do for this man dingo. You better believe it will. Right. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. And little Mick, give little Mick a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read every one. And thank you for watching. I will see you, man dingoes, next week. Oh, yes. You better believe I will. Right. Two rights. Oh, uh, Mason. Uh.